Hey folks, Boda Bob here. Um, it's been a while and uh, kind of wanted to catch up on what I've been doing. So, you know, one of my favorite things to do is uh, modify my BX or put add-ons or attachments. So let me show you what my latest project has been. I'm gonna flip this camera around, so pause and um, originally what I did is I built the uh, box on a country line carry-all frame and I'll put that um, I'll take a snapshot here and put it in the uh, part number it was so 170 bucks so what I did is originally I just put these sideboards on the sideboard and that's it but um, I want to be able to stack the reason I built this and added this to my tractor was so I could split more wood and then carry that split wood to my wood pile so this allows me to right now I have to kind of uh, put the wood on here in a pyramid shape, a triangle shape. And I can get two rows and, and maybe about a third of a third of cord uh, wood. I don't know what that is uh, mathematically, but basically a third of a face cord. And uh, maybe maybe even only 25% of a face cord. So maybe I can get a little bit more on here by building up the sides. So originally, I didn't have anything on this edge. And how I'm going to do it, I'm going to put a 2x4 on the side. And then this is what I'm thinking. So the bottom board is a two by 10. Then on top of that, I'm gonna put two by sixes up like that. And then to secure it, I'm gonna put a piece of angle iron, two inch angle iron here along the bottom to give more strength to this bottom piece. And a, a two inch angle iron down there. And I'm gonna screw into each one of these additional boards along with the original board. Originally, I only attached them with deck screws. I'm gonna add some uh, lag bolts. And then in addition to the angle iron, I'm gonna put a piece of flat iron here and attach it to the two by four and the bottom piece. And that's how that's going to work. Something like that. Hope that makes sense. I'm going to try to get it close to the edge. But first I'm going to attach the angle iron. So I'm going to get some work done on this. This is a 16 inch piece of angle iron. And that's a 20 inch piece of angle iron. And what I did with that angle iron... I set it on a piece of two by, which is one and a half inches thick. And that set my dimensions there. So what I got is two pieces of 36 inch long angle iron. I cut the, cut it at 20 inches. And then what I have left over, which is approximately 16 inches is there. So I got one piece of angle iron for each side. We haven't gone there yet. So I drilled holes. So this first board here, 
this board is a 10 inch board and then all the others are six inch two by material this first board here is 10 inches and then every board after that is six inches you had have preferred that my uh, bolts there would have been in the center of the boards and not where they landed so but I got holes in here you can't see them because there's black paint but they're not on yet so this angle here is a 45 degree angle and this is a three foot piece of flat iron and what I did to find that, I put that at a 45 degree angle off of, what I did, I took a big framing square. Well, it's not a framing square, but it's a big speed square. And that's how I found the angle and made it go up to my two by four. So it lands roughly in the center of my two by four. So that's how I determined where that was going to be. Now what I've done is I've struck a line to match the 45 and then I'm going to go halfway in between to um, drill my hole. So I'm anchored here. I'll be anchored here. Here for the second 2x6 my third two by six will be anchored there and approximately there and then approximately there. Okay, so I marked my spot on the flat iron. I put a center punch close as I could get to the center. And I'm drilling a smaller hole and then I will open it up to 3 8 inch. And what I'm using to open it up is a step bit. This is my step bit kit that I got off Amazon. There's a bunch of them on there. You can get them at um, um, Harbor Freight also. This is just one that I bought off of Amazon a while back. So what I'm gonna do, drill this last one is a lot of uh, horsepower to get the uh, hole through this like I said it's it's tough but once you get this small hole in if you just try to drill a 3 8 inch hole it would take forever um, so it's better to go step it open and so uh, you know maybe I'll uh, try to show you that so I'm gonna drill the pallet hole and then I'll show you stepping it open. I finished drilling the pallet holes. And I put a step bit in and now I'm gonna large it out so it'll accept a uh, 3 8 inch lag bolt. A uh, speed alert, head on board. We change the speed to a uh, low speed. And my cutting fluid is WD-40. WD-40 really makes a difference. And I will switch sides. The uh, metal's thicker than the step, so it helps to go from side to side. Stepped it out one, so it's, we got to go one size larger. Give me a little WD-40 on there. Almost through. And now my bolt, my lag bolt goes right in. One of the things I think is good about doing both sides also 
is when I do the underside, it deburrs it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the last two holes in this uh, piece of flat stock, and uh, I'll bring you back. So I've completed one side of my carry-all. Initially, I was only going to um, keep this two by 10 here, which gives about six inches from the bottom of the box to the top of the two by 10, it was six inches. And I have it extended down, um, tied into a two by four here. I don't like to drill into um, end grain. Um, I don't think there's as much holding power on end grain. So by attaching the two by four to the bottom and then screwing into the, the two by four, I think there's more strength there. It's just the way I do it, folks. I'm not saying it's right. Um, it's just the way I do it. In addition to the 36 inch angle iron on each side, I got a 36 inch flat bar. And uh, that's 3 16 I would recommend, the problem was the lows I went to didn't have eighth inch thick. And so I had to go 3 16 This is 36 by one and a half by uh, 3 16 of an inch thick. And I, like I said, I put one lag bolt into each board. I'm gonna come along and put some lag bolts in the bottom of my, uh, uh, right now there's only uh, deck screws and I'm gonna come in here remove a couple of the deck screws and go in with some lag bolts on the bottom to give it a little more strength. But it, it seems sturdy. I just, you know, they're only deck screws. <laughs> they're meant to hold deck boards down, not to, I, I don't know how good they are for construction of something that I'm gonna be piling uh, split firewood in. So that's what it looks like, folks. Um, it's been a project. The, uh, like I said, the uh, frame from Tractor Supply was $170. The wood, the wood was through the roof. I'm not even gonna try to quote what that was, but it was a lot of money. Uh, the hardware, I'll try to put the prices in for each one of the uh, angle iron and the flat bar. And then, you know, these uh, 3 8 inch lag bolts that are one and a half inches long were like 30 cents a piece. So not too bad. Got about 20 lag bolts in here so far. So 20 times 30, yeah, about six bucks in bolts for each side. So 12 bucks one, um, get the other side done too. So uh, I'm gonna uh, call it a wrap right here, although I am gonna continue on with the other side. I'll probably uh, take a picture and show you the finished product and I'll put that at the end of the video.